Well, let's move on. The Reserve Bank has offered HDFC Bank relief on priority sector lending norms and has permitted the merged HDFC entity to hike stake in HDFC Ergo and HDFC Life to over 50% before the effective merger date. Ashutosh Mishra, the head of research institutional equities at Ashika Stock Broking, joins in. Prakash Divan is also sitting by with us. Ashutosh, let me come to you first. What does this mean for HDFC Life? The stock has had a large underperformance, you know, compared to the market, compared to its peers over the last many years. But from here on, what do you see as the stock moves? So I clearly see the positive development for HDFC Life as, uh, and HDFC Argo both uh, point of view. That now investors clearly know that no, the HDFC Bank will be holding 50% and they will also get benefit of the cross selling to the HDFC customer in a bigger way because now they are direct subsidiary to the HDFC Bank. So in my view, this is a very positive development. Uh, yes, industry will be facing some issues on uh, annualized premium equivalent because fourth quarter was very good. So compared to the fourth quarter, number may not look good when the first, second or you know, a few other quarter uh, in the coming years. But you no, know, uh, we are going to see uh, uh, one of the largest concerns getting addressed by this clarification from RBI. Hi, Ashutos. Morning. Uh, you know, we had a good update that came in there, uh, you know, from HDFC Live. The stock had opened up well in the green. But the street seems to suggest that the good performance, because of the changes in the budget, could put FY24 growth at a risk. What are you factoring in for FY24 for HDFC Live? Yeah, so FY24 will be a bit uh, uh, you know, uh, lackluster for the HDFC life as such. The reason is purely that fourth quarter we have seen the the type of AP growth which a few of the insurance company which has come out with the results is clearly indicating that you no, know, everyone has delivered a very good number in fourth quarter and all the regulatory changes has been uh, you know, kicked in from the first of the April. So the FY24 it will be more of a consolidation year for them. And going forward, uh, the future prospect looks good. Uh, yes, we are going to see some more tax changes in, in the future, but I don't think so. That is concerned at this point of. I don't think so. That is a concern at this point of time. So, uh, in my view, this is more of a positive for the bank, uh, for, for the uh, HDFC life at this point of time. Mm. Prakash, can I get a view on uh, HDFC Bank uh, uh, from, uh, from you? We discussed the insurance, uh, the life insurance company with you, but bank itself, I mean, what does it mean, uh, The what the RBI has told them now? No, so what it does is uh, it takes away a huge burden, uh, a potential burden from uh, HDFC Bank's perspective to kind of, you know, match up to those PSL, uh, private sector lending allocations in a very short or a very near-term basis. And it gives it enough time to be able to calibrate that. And, you know, the change that's not been uh, allowed is, is the CRR, SLR requirements have not been tweaked, which is, which is fair enough because for a large balance sheet like this, you can't take those kind of risks and, and add to the systemic risk in the entire system. But my sense is the priority sector lending tells you that they'll be able to focus more on the more lucrative businesses of <clears throat> corporate loans, of retail, uh, and, 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 and that's exactly where the margin improvement will happen much faster than what was expected. So what the street is going to do, Prashad, you know, as we get closer to the effective merger date, uh, uh, you know, the, the bank's uh, net interest margin improvement, which is potentially uh, likely to happen given the cost of funds lowering because of the combined entity's ability to raise uh, low-cost money, that with the focus on retail and corporate and SME loans is going to be a very good combination. So what ICC Bank has eventually done in, in these last four quarters, if you see, is something which HDFC Bank would do, and it's probably been holding itself back because of this merger. So that just goes out of the way. I think it's going to be a, it's going to grow at a scorching pace once a merger takes off. And then this actually helps it do without looking back or just, you know, over its shoulder in terms of, hey, I want to need to do priority sector lending up this much. There's no restriction that will pull them back. So for HDFC Life, right, I just want to pull up the stock because there are some brokerages that have upgraded the stock as well. MK has upgraded the stock and they have a target price of 650, which is well above the current market price. Prakash Devan, your thoughts here? I mean, now that the overhang is out of the way, do you think HDFC yeah. Life can correct the underperformance it's seen over the last year or so? No, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, two, a couple of days back, we were talking when Yash came up with this report in terms of why the last quarter was so lumpy, given the imminent regulatory change from 1st April, and Ashutosh also alluded to that. My sense is, uh, Sonia, all of that will probably get digested in the next couple of quarters. Then you'll come back to a normal state of growth for most of these larger players, which have great distribution still. Now, just imagine HDFC Life. Uh, one is, everybody who wanted to buy a block of HDFC Life being sold by the parent 
uh, given this uh, merger uh, impact, is is now going to be buying it on the screen. Yeah, so that that's that's very clearly going to keep demand in place. The second thing that's going to happen is the expectation of uh, AP, uh, you know, steady kind of growth not being there or uh, you know base effect coming into picture and all of that is also means that people will not buy it at this uh, levels. And that's where it starts offering a lot of value. So, you know, the moment the moment you start buying a stock, which is going to do well only in 20 months or beyond 12 months, you start deriving a lot of value, not overpaying for it. So at 550 or 540, whatever, I don't know what it is opened up, uh, it's it's definitely going to offer you a very significant upside uh, from, a, from, a, uh, la from a large cap business mm -hmm. in the financial services. So I'm, I'm quite positive on it. I, I would be surprised if you see those 650, 700 levels in the next 12, 24 months. Okay. Uh, Ashutosh, uh, thanks a lot for joining in and talking about this issue. And Prakash Divan, thanks for commenting on HDFC Life as well. Uh,